everyone. It's Bob and Fran again. And today, Fran is going to share with you an incredibly delicious vegan appetizer. Whether you call it liver pate or chopped liver, this is a winner. Take a half a pound of raw mushrooms and slice them. Take a small onion and uh, chop it up. Put them both into a, um, a small pan and with a little water, saute them until they're cooked. Add that to your food processor with one cup of raw walnuts and a little salt and pepper and process it until it's all chopped up and you have delicious either chopped liver or liver pate, whatever you call it. Great appetizer to serve on crackers uh, when you have company or just you can even make a sandwich out of yeah. it. Delicious. Welcome, everyone. It's Bob and Fran. Today, Fran is going to show you an amazing and delicious fast chili recipe. If you love chili and you don't like to cook a lot, I've got a great recipe for you. Take one can of black beans and one can of red kidney beans, rinse them and drain them, and put them in a pot and add one can of corn that has been drained. And to these three, add one cup of your favorite salsa, stir it all up, heat it, and you've got the simplest but most delicious chili. And I want to thank my friend Terry Edwards from Eat Plant Based for this simple but fantastic recipe. Bon appetit! Hi everyone, it's Bob and Fran. And if you like chocolate, like we like chocolate, you will love this recipe for vegan chocolate pudding. So Fran, tell us about it. How do you make it? So simple. Take one ripe medium avocado, one third of a cup of plant milk, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend them all together till smooth in a blender. Spoon them into two dessert cups and chill till you're ready to eat them. That will make two servings. And if you're generous, you will share it with somebody. If you love it like I do, I'd probably eat both. Hi, everyone. It's Bob and Fran. Today is your lucky day because Fran is going to share with you her famous vegan Parmesan cheese recipe. It's really simple but delicious. Take three quarters of a cup of raw cashews and put it in a food processor along with three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, three quarters of a teaspoon of sea salt, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and process it until it's the consistency of Parmesan cheese. Store it in a container and you can keep it in the fridge. I made it today because tonight we're having eggplant Parmesan. You can use it on that, you can use it on pizza, anything that you like Parmesan cheese on. It's really delicious and it's plant-based. Enjoy. This, this, this cheese recipe will fake anyone out. We love it and we hope you give it a try. Hi everyone. Lucky you came by today because Fran is going to give you the recipe for my favorite healthy dessert. We all love ice cream, right? But unfortunately, it's not that healthy. It's loaded with sugar and fat and uh, sometimes chemicals. So here's a good substitute. Freeze four ripe bananas, and after they're frozen, put them in a food processor and uh, process them till they're nice and creamy, and then uh, you've got nice cream. Now, if you wanna make different flavors, it's real easy. You can put in cocoa powder, you could put in frozen other frozen fruits, whatever flavor you like, but it's healthy, it's delicious, and it's called nice cream. Hi friends, it's Bob and Fran, and today we have another spectacular vegan idea for you. It's a recipe for chocolate sauce, and you can use it in so many ways. Fran, tell us how you make it. If you love your nice cream and you would love to have some chocolate sauce on it, you'll love this recipe. It's half a cup of, of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, six tablespoons of maple syrup, and six tablespoons of unsweetened plant milk. Pour all these ingredients into a small saucepan and simmer over low heat for about two minutes, stirring constantly. 
Uh, then you can pour it into a, a glass jar and uh, store it in your refrigerator. It lasts for a long time unless you eat it quickly. Great on a nice cream, or you could pour it over um, whatever you would normally put chocolate syrup on.